Today we are going to see how to dynamically add control in a window in a VB6 forms or in a Windows forms. Uh, basically, what we do, we actually add controls uh, in r design time. But w sometimes it happens that you need to add control, mm, put control in a form or remove control in a form in a desired way as you want in runtime. So what I'm going to so show you, I will going to I'm going to show you how to add these controls, basic controls in VV forms and even handle their events. Okay. So well, let's start. Uh, what are we going to do? We are going to add a combo box, add a common button and add a text box. As I have so shown you in the previous video that uh, how to uh, add event handler create event handler in a within a class so I'm not going to go into that class details I'll do everything in this form within this form form 1 so first what we, what we are going to do we are going to add a few objects with, 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 with events one combo box one text box and one button <coughs> so now uh, what we are going to do we will add this control in form load or we can do one thing uh, we can add a control say start start btn btn which will actually will load in form load uh, which will actually load in form load event and by clicking on this button I will add this three control to make you understand that uh, how these controls are added okay let's do one thing uh, we will not add it dynamically we will add it in design time so after clicking this one after clicking this one after clicking this one we will get all the controls within the form which will be dynamically added so now just move into this one so the function we are going to add is control dot add or forms dot control dot add so first one is we take combo box cmb equal to just a moment uh, let's make the spelling correct me dot controls dot add class name is vb dot combo box and give it a name cmb the same as the object name in the same way txt vb dot text box just remember the class name this is very important if you sp spell this car class name car not spell this car class name correctly or write this class name correctly control will not be added the same way btn mount button as you see the we have added this uh, with events as combo box the name is same here just with the prefix of vb dot now we are going to make this all this object visible
now just make the position correct suppose first we takes place it txt dot left equal to zero mm, cmb dot left equal to txt dot left plus txt dot width uh, next one is btn dot top equal to txt dot suppose sorry cmb dot top plus cmb dot height just i will place the button right beam beam right below the common button <coughs> so now we are going to add some text here txt dot text equal to hello world cmb dot clear beam declare a integer variable for i equal to 1 to 100 cmb dot add item i next i this uh, and btn dot caption equal to din button now i will go to add events to this one suppose in the same way txt as in the previous video got focus i change the color or make txt dot font bold sorry font dot bold equal to true and in the loss focus equal to false mm, in the same way just add an event to the combo box button click me dot caption equal to cmb dot text whatever i select on the mm, combo box it will be displayed on the title bar of the form and on the button event button click event print a message msc box Clicked on btn dot caption. Now let's see what happens. Oh my God! Oh, some problem is here. Just a moment. Okay, make it same we one, txt one. Ah, I haven't changed the name. My mistake because it's an object you should have to put a set statement into this. Can you see what happened? See. All the items are added here from 1 to 100. <coughs> Click anyone, see 46, 47, 47, 48, 50. See, it has been displayed on Windows title bar. Click on the DIN button, clicked on DIN button caption has been printed in the same way C 
see actually what happens uh, when you uh, previously the error comes because I have clicked on the button twice by mistake and what happened it, our, our control with the name CMB1 is already created internally linked now second time I click it, it found the duplicate name so it is restricted that so I should add another command button which will remove the controls remove mm, that controls dot remove cmb1 txt1 and ptl1 now see how it has been removed again if you click another time see big cmb1 not found because the control has been removed so let's run it again got focus it has been bold lost focus bold is it has been normal click on anyone as I have set it there click on lean button caption is given you can even change this one if you like say in case uh, in case of caption I give ptn dot name clicked on btn1 which is the name of the which is the name of the button I have set here so this is a very small uh, program to explain how to create controls dynamically and set it to an object and create events dynamic events for those controls and even remove those controls from the form so by using this concept what you can do you can create any dynamic any dynamic of dy dynamic forms you can even create a forms dynamically add a forms dynamically add the controls into that form dynamically and after the work is finished when you unload you remove one the controls from the form you remove the form from the memory and it is a very very efficient program which can optimize your program speed okay uh, you can optimize your memory memory consumption you add a form or you can add controls whenever you require otherwise you remove this if you uh, do it in design time it will load all the controls and everything at load time and it will remain in the memory so all the controls now dynamically you can add controls and remove controls from the form so this is a very efficient program which you can apply uh, into uh, into any of your projects a big projects which consumes a huge memory so that's all for this uh, lesson. Thank you.